Good afternoon, everyone. Today is October the 30th, 2022. My name is Bishop Robert Williams from GodsMiracleMinistry.com and PropheticInformationMinistries.com. Well, I want to give you a, a little update on what I've been doing today and, and what I've been doing here in the last couple of weeks. This is like a ministry update. But uh, I want to uh, do just a little bit of teaching. It, it, it's, it's called Greater Glory. One encounter with the glory changes everything in the spirit. New things are birthed, new callings, giftings, and anointings come to us and the Spirit prepares us to be a blessing to the nations and to the people around us to be utilized in miraculous ways. Do you want to be used by God? I sure do. God gives us divine connections in our lives for our next dimension, preparing us to be launched into the greatest miracles we've ever known, to be thrust into the greatest day we've ever seen, to be used by God in this great end time revival. This great end time revival it's happening now. Do you want to be a part of this? I sure do. And uh, that's one thing that uh, that's one thing that I'm here to encourage you to build up your faith. Today I went to uh, a church I haven't been to in a, in a long time. Um, I just reconnected here in Independence, Missouri with another church. And uh, it's with Apostle and Prophetess Danielle Mitchell. Her, You can find her on Facebook at I-H-A-G-M Church. Look her up. She is a very anointed woman of God. And uh, God had me connect to her again because he has big plans for that ministry and for me to help out this church, this ministry, help out Apostle Mitchell or Michelle. And... Uh, And I'm definitely going to be doing that. I've been helping other churches uh, here in the Kansas City, Kansas area, and in Independence, and every and every place I go to around the country. When God opens up a door for me to go and preach, um, but I, I want to let you know that two weeks ago, you know, everyone here is following my ministry. You, you know that I was preaching at a healing revival with Pastor Don Ware at a church here in Kansas City, Missouri for about three or four days. And uh, it was a phenomenal service. People were healed there. Miracles happened. And uh, that's what and, we, and some great teachings happened by several other ministers. And I thank God for putting this whole thing. Even some spiritual deliverance occurred there. And uh, it was just a phenomenal service. You can see that on my YouTube channel or on Facebook here. But... Uh, you know, I'll just give you a quick testimony of this lady.
It, as a matter of fact, it was the bishop's daughter that I prayed for. Um, she had a stroke a few years back, and uh, you know she couldn't hardly move her arm and uh, on her right side, and uh, she couldn't talk very well at times. She stuttered a lot, and I prayed for her and I anointed her with some of the Azuzu Street anointing oil that I have. And uh, the next day, I did talk to her, but I, knew, I didn't know she had a stuttering problem. But the pastor, the bishop of the church, he got the mic and he said, when, you know, he's talking to me and everybody else. He said, when you prayed for her, her voice changed. The, the next morning, she was talking normally. She didn't have a stuttering problem and she hasn't talked that way in years, you know, in the last two or three years. And I thank God for that healing because He healed her, you know, because of her faith, because of my faith, and what God is doing using me to help others. And I thank God for that miracle that occurred. Is there going to be other healings and miracles in that church? Most definitely. Because I was there to lift up the people's faith. To take them to the next level. I imparted to them spiritual gifts. Such as healings and miracles and to impart to them the end-time revival anointing that I have gotten from several generals of God. I, you know, when God gives you gifts, you don't hang on to them. You impart them out. You sow seeds. You know, there was a teaching that I did that did not get up on video. It's called the Zuzu Seeds. You know, people that didn't know anything about Azuzu Street Revival, they learned about it. I imparted that anointing to them. So they can be used in the great end time revival. So they could speak to people that God puts in front of them. So they can speak words of encouragement to everyone. Because there's a lot of hurting people out there. This is harvest time. I sowed those seeds so they can be used in this great harvest so God can send them out to bring his harvest, bring his people unto him. That's what I was there for, to impart this to them so they can help God and the Holy Spirit to bring those hurting people into the church end of where they can be healed. And, uh, you know, with these YouTube videos and videos up on, on Facebook, and everyone here who is preaching up and teaching here on YouTube and Facebook, you know, right now I, I'm, I'm in my office and, and I don't know who's all going to watch this video. But it means something to somebody. God is going to direct a person to watch videos. He might send them to your video if you're a teacher or, or a pastor or a bishop. You don't know whose life you're going to affect. Well, I had... a. Uh, a gentleman called me up today all the way from Virginia this morning before church and this man was hurting I mean he was hurting the devil was tearing him up so when I got to the church I pulled over and, and, and I I talked to him I counseled him, you know, I, I asked God for a word of knowledge. 
you know, what was wrong with him? Why was he being so attacked? And, and, and what the Lord was telling me, there was some generational curses. He needed spiritual deliverance. So yes, I did pray for him for deliverance. I gave him a word of knowledge. And I instructed him to, to find a church that deals with spiritual deliverance. Because he needs a little hands-on spiritual deliverance. But I told him to go to my website, either at Prophetic Information Ministries or God's Miracle Ministry.com. And they have a section which is a series of teachings I just recently did at a church in Kansas City, Kansas. It's called the Ark of Deliverance. I taught the you know eighteen week class. Me and the pastor taught this class, and uh, I said this will change your life. And, and I wanted you to put on the full armor of God and plead the blood of Jesus over you every day. And God does not want any sin between you and Him, or for me and Him. That way we can be used mightily for God. And, and that's the way with you. If you want to be used by God, clean up your life. God wants you to clean up your life. You want your prayers to be answered? You want to be used? Then clean your life up. You need to repent for your sins. Repent for all of your sins. But the, one of the most important things that you have to do you have to learn how to forgive people. The forgive the people who have hurt you. You have hurt other people. I've hurt other people. We have to forgive. We ask to have to ask for forgiveness. If we did something wrong, if you can, go in to that person and repent. Say, I'm sorry for hurting you. You may have hurt your parents, or a brother, or a sister, or a friend, or an ex-spouse, or an ex-girlfriend, or a boyfriend, whatever it is. But we've hurt people. We need to ask for forgiveness. And if we can't, we just, you know, pray to God and ask God to forgive us and, and get rid of that hurt. Get rid of that bitterness that we hold in our hearts because that bitterness will tear us up on the inside and we don't need to hang on to the hurt and bitterness I know how that is you know I was cheated out of my inheritance by my brother you know he's not here anymore but that's okay but God I didn't talk to him for a year Almost, but God told me you need to forgive him for that, and I did forgive him for that. You know, there's a lot of hurting people that's hanging on to a lot of things. You don't need to hang on to that no more. We can't live in the past, we have to go from today into the future. So Look to see what God has for you, because He wants to use you mightily. That's right, you. You know, we're not all called to be behind the podium. You know, not all of us are going to stand in front of large crowds. You know, but God is going to put you in front of somebody to help them. The many things you have gone through in your life and Jesus has helped you walk through it. You can help somebody else. Well, I've been through a divorce. I've been hurt. What do I do? Then you send them to Jesus. That's why the Lord helped me out this way. He did it this way for me. I'm over this. You know, there's a lot of things out there. 
you know, and, uh, you know, there's, 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 there's women and there's men that have been raped in their, in their past and they're holding on to bitterness. You have to learn how to forgive these people. And give it all to Jesus. Give it to him. Get on your knees or on your face before God and hand it to him. And don't pick it back up. Don't pick up your sins. You know... Because that's just going to tear you up if you hang on to it. That's why Jesus died on the cross for you. For all your sins. You know. I want to help people. I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. I've been through divorces. You know. I've, I've, I've lost jobs. Uh, I've been hurt by the church. And, but that hasn't stopped me from loving God. I dust off my feet and I, I go on to the next level with God. The next phase with God. You know, you know if you have a call of God on your life, because we all do. You know, like I said, we're not all called to be behind the podium. Some are called to be musicians. Singers, some to be in help ministries, were to help out the pastors or the church. You know, help ministries, you could be helping sweep the floor, get things ready for a big dinner, even be a janitor, a janitor in the church. You're a help to the body of that church, but you're doing it unto God then do what you're called to do. Some of you out there are even making a lot of money. God has blessed you with uh, gifts to get a lot of money. Well, it's not cheap to run ministries from, you know, some of these ministers, including myself, we, we, we travel. And it's not cheap to do that. So, so in to a pastor, sow into a ministry. It says in the Bible, if you sow into a prophet, you'll get a prophet's reward. I've done that several times. But I remember years ago, I, I sowed $50 into a prophet that was going to be headed to Israel. And I had a small lawn service at the time. But I sowed in $50. And, and, and about a, a week or two later, I'm getting a phone call from a big franchise, a restaurant franchise here in Kansas City. And they asked me to take over their lawn service. They didn't know me. They just saw my ad out on the Internet. And uh, they had five restaurants here in the Kansas City area. And I said, how much do you, how much are you willing to offer? So we'll give you $50 for each restaurant. I said, okay. Well, that came out to $1,000 a month. $1,000 a month, and I had that contract for five years. About $38,000 came in because of that $50 donation. See how great God is when we're obedient to God and so into a profit. You will get a profit's reward. And I thank God for that. But if you can sow in to your local church or where you're being fed, you can even sow into my ministry if you want. You can go to my website and, and go to the donation page. You can do that. Because people sometimes do that. Not all the time. You know, but people are being blessed. You know, so if you can do that, but I want you to be used in the ministry. This is the time of the great end time harvest. The great end time revival. 
if your church needs me, if, if your church would like a guest speaker and like if, for me or or maybe my team could come, we'll get, gladly come. Now, I live in the Kansas City area, but I'm willing to go anywhere as long as the finances are they're there. And great miracles have happened. You need miracle testimonies? Go to GodsMiracleMinistry.com and, and go to the uh, testimony page and you'll see several uh, miracles that have occurred. I'm not the miracle worker. I'm not the healer. I'm just the messenger. I'm the one who's going to pray. But Jesus is the healer. He deserves and gets all the glory, the praise, and the honor for everything. Like I said, I'm just a messenger. And uh, I want to see you get a miracle. If, if you need a miracle in your life, you know, your church is hurting. You have people that are hurting. And call me up. I'll be gladly to come. And, 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 and preach on healings and miracles. Have a miracle service or a miracle revival. And watch miracles happen with your own eyes. I've seen it. You know, colon cancer's been healed. Breast cancer's been healed overnight. Tumors on lungs have been healed. Many other testimonies. I send out prayer cloths all over the world. And you can read those testimonies that came in on the website. So, if you need me to come, I'll come. But I'm going to go ahead and close this video. But, uh, because, uh, you know, I don't want it to be that long. But uh, I, if you are in the Kansas City area, and you need a good church to go to, if you're over to Kansas City, Kansas, go to Ark of Deliverance Church. Find them up on Facebook under Ark of Deliverance Church. And if you're here in the Independence, Kansas City area, go to um, Apostolic Prophetic. Okay, well, it, it's it's. Uh, I'll just give you their Facebook page again. It's I H A G M Church with Apostle Prophet Dr. Danielle Mitchell, a great minister of God. She has got a great anointing on her life. I heard her today, and you can go and watch her video, part of it today that she did on her Facebook page. I don't know if it's up yet, but uh, I thank God for her. I I'm going to be helping her out in the future. And uh, you're going to see some greater services on her website or on her Facebook page. You're going to go up on YouTube. So just just watch this happen. You know, great things are going to happen in that ministry. Just like great things are happening over in Kansas City, Kansas, under Arkham Deliverance Church with Pastor or Apostle Valentine Estrada. So go check them out. But... Uh, I'm going to close for now. I want to say thank you for watching. I hope this video has encouraged you. And uh, get ready to walk in the greater glory of God. That's right. Well, I hope that uh, I'll see you one day in person. And if you ever need to talk, need prayer in your life, call me up. My phone number's on the... Uh, on my website and, and if you need prayer you're more than welcome to call me up if you need a prayer cloth I'll mail you one out it, it's for free I'm not going to ask anything for that but I'm here if you need me well you take care God bless you but I, I, I want to pray for you first though dear Heavenly Father I, I come to you in the name of Jesus and Lord I want to thank each and every one who has come here and watch this video. Lord, I speak deliverance into their life. I speak physical and mental and spiritual healing to each and every one. 
Lord, you know you're hurting people out there. I ask you to heal them right now. And Lord, a lot of people are hurting financially. And I ask for healing in, in, in my body. And I ask for financial healing in, in, into my life and into my ministry, Lord. But bless each every one of them that's watching. And bless them financially. Lord, open up doors for all the ministers out there to go minister. Open up doors here on YouTube and Facebook and on websites to reach the hurting people, Lord. And I want to thank you for everything that you've done for us, what you're doing today, and what you're going to do for us in the future, Lord. I thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. And if you want to visit my website, go to godsmiracleministry.com, propheticinformationministries.com. My Facebook page is Bishop Robert Williams. Go check that out. And, and, and go to my videos and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channels, please subscribe there. And that way you can be kept up to date and, and what God is doing in my life and you know see more services up on YouTube and Facebook to see what God is doing well thanks for watching and pass this on to your friends and family send it to your pastor and if, like I said if they want me to come to preach at their church hey I'm there I'm there. Take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you on the next video.